Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm actually going to be testing out one of the masks that I got back in from the gift exchange. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've been holding off because sometimes, to be honest, you guys, I like especially because it's nighttime and I just wanna get to sleep, especially during the work week. I'm not even thinking about. Let me film a video. I'm just like put my mask on and go about my business. But I actually haven't tried any of the Freeman Freeman masks yet. Um, because I was just waiting to see which one I wanted to try. Now I went through it, the mask earlier, so I could kind of figure out which one I wanted to try first. And I decided on the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Clearing Sweet Tea Plus Lemon Peel Off Clay Mask. Now I have a love and hate relationship with um, peel off masks. It just depends on those the masks. Cause some of them come off easily, and then some of them take forever. So we'll see which one this one is. But I have heard great things about Freeman. So this is. It's for normal to combo skin. Instantly removes impurities plus tone to radiant skin. And it says easy, easy to peel off, easy to peel mask. So let's see if it peels off easily. Um, I actually want to go ahead and just put it on first. And then um, I'll read, tell you guys more about it. Because my face, I just um, cleanse it with the toner. And I kind of just want, don't want it to dry, get too dry because it's already drying up. But this is what it looks like. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just open up the package. And there's a good amount in here, so I could probably use this for a good type, a good amount of time. And I never had tried a tea and lemon mask before, so this is going to be interesting. I have tried, like, variations of, like, you know, different type of masks, but not too. Mm, smells really good and has an orange color definitely a sticky consistency for a peel off mask I should have got my mirror although my mirror is right next to me I could easily glance but I'm just gonna hope I get on my face cause if you know me by now then you know sorry I gotta open this more cause this is So this can definitely get messy. Okay, so this is definitely sticky, um, as is all peel-off masks if you never tried um, any. I've tried a couple. Um, I believe this is like my third peel-off mask that I've tried, or maybe fourth. Um, I remember I was using one that was like... It wasn't one of these um, in the packaging. It was in this type of packaging, which is like, you know, the smaller sizes. It was like I had a whole bottle. But I did like it, but it was just like it took forever to take off. Whereas I tried another one where it was easy to take off. So it just depends on the peel-off mask. Um, but so facts about this mask is this peel-off clay mask delivers the cleansing and oil-absorbing benefits you expect from clay. Plus... The all over toning and refining perks of an easy to peel off mask. Antioxidant rich tea helps protect skin from the environment and lemon helps brighten dark spots. And that's why I want to try this one today because I do have dark spots like I've been saying. And I've been trying to get them away from my face for a while. Um, so it's perfect for normal combination skin. Apply thin layer to clean dry face, affording eyes, eyebrows, hairline, and lips. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes or until dry and then... Peel off mask. Sorry, I cut off the words. So it says peel off mask. I think from outer edges. Yeah, rinse with warm water. Use twice a week or as often as needed. So I'll see how it is. But being that this is a sticky mask, I probably just use this one more time this week because I can't. That's the only thing I can't deal with the stickiness of peel off masks. Like I like to use them, but it's like it is so sticky. Like my whole hands. That's the only, like, I guess, downfall of the peel-off mask, They're, they're them being super, extremely sticky. This is what my face looks like. So I'm definitely feeling the stick. Oh, I gotta put a timer. Alexa, put a timer for 14 minutes. 
So I'll come back after 14 minutes and show you guys what my face is looking like. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and rinse out my face because, yeah. All right, so the time is up. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it off. And we're going to see how much comes off. If it comes off quickly or not. Might speed this up depending on how long this is taken. So keep that in mind. Had to bring my garbage next to me because I knew it was going to get messy. I still have pieces but I need to go in the actual bathroom and see what I'm doing so but I mean it's not bad as all with all peel off masks you get most of it off and then you always gotta rinse it off it's that's the standard for peel off masks so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off the rest of it off my face but it's not bad it's as they say you just gotta kind of find that As they say, you just have to find the edges really so you can actually, like, I don't want to say pick at your skin, but kind of get it to lift off or lift up, if that makes sense, and then you can take it off. So I'm going to go and wash my face off. Go ahead and let my hair, my hair, my face dry just a little bit. And, but my impression, my first impression of this mask, I like it. What I will say is it did pretty well in terms of peeling off because... When I just went to the bathroom, it literally took me literally like less than 20 seconds to really just rinse off. I just had to scrape a little, like I had some in my nose, but it was minor. Um, as opposed to like other, some other pull off mask where I'm like sitting there for like forever trying to pull off most of it. Um, this was really quick um, as once I got most of it off. So first impression definitely, um, if I would give it a rating, a star rating out of 5, definitely right for right now 5 out of 5. Because, of course, it is a peel-off mask, so I don't expect that it's not going to be sticky. I expected it to be sticky because I've tried peel-off masks. Um, but I was, what I didn't expect was it to not peel off as quickly as this one did. But this one did pretty well, and the rinsing process didn't take too long. It was much for watching. Make sure you like, you hit the like button, you comment down below, you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more skincare videos now, I will say this to you. Um, I um, try to stick with certain products so my reviews will not be as consistent. Um, there are products though that um, I'm starting to add to my regimen that I think are becoming staples. And I don't want to put out a video like that yet until I am certain for sure that all these products are like my staple. Why is this so long? Anyway, I digress. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, you comment down below. Um, what you thought about this mask? Would you try this mask? Um, I'll leave the product, the price below because I'm not too sure. Like I said, I got this um, as a gift, so I'm not too sure. But I know from what from experience, I've seen Freeman before, and they sell like at five below, so I know they're very affordable. Um, but I'll leave it down below anyway. And um, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. And bye.